Alright, so I got everything lined up. Here's my Pure Later box. Toss it over there. Here's the Pure Later filter. Pure Later is a good brand I can trust. Um, got my four quarts oil lined up. 20 weight, 50. Havoline. And now my phone's ringing. Alright, so let's drain this filter of the pan right here on Subaru. <clears throat> Your filter is right oh here. Now back when this was put on, this is before, I am sorry, this is before I really knew about Fram sucking balls and killing cars. I know better now. Ooh, it's pretty hot. Get in that camera guy. Blood, blood. Is that oil looking good? It looks so great coming out of the filter. Okay. And now, inch it this way. And we take the oil wrench. Where did I put it? Uh, it's up here. <clears throat> I love this tool. This is a uh, Black & Decker tool. I don't know what it's called. It works really well. So what you do is just get the filter out of the way. I'll just put that in the box. Pull right now. And uh, alright. Figure out what size it is. Three quarter inch. Nope, too loose. Nope. Must be 17 millimeter. <clears throat> oh, that was easy. Trying to get my camera without getting oil on it. Oh, there we go. That don't look pretty. I should definitely get a couple more seconds, at least one second faster after some fresh oil. Am I even in a shot? There it is. Shake it, make it go faster. Three shakes of a lamb still, come on. Alright, we'll clip out. Okay, now we take the plug and we wipe her down. Make her nice and clean. And make sure you wipe down your uh, oil pl oil drain hole nice and dry as much as you can off. And then 
and tighten her down. You finger tighten it first. And then just a little squeeze on with your wrench. You don't want to make it too tight. No one full turn, just maybe a quarter. Wipe some oil off that poor thing. There we go. Not too loose. Definitely tight enough. Now, we have a time lock on the camera. Take your. Let's see, I'll set you down right here on the grill. That'll work fine. Take your oil, open her up. Take your oil filter and you fill it up to almost top. That should be about good. And then you take your finger and then you sex it up a little. Oh yeah. Make sure you get the gasket nice and lubed up. You want to make your legacy nice and happy tonight. Nice and lubed up. I think I'm going to put a bit more oil in there. There we go. Now it's to the top. Tap it. Make sure it's in all the way. Because there are holes, and after it, after it sits, it will uh, sit down a bit. But I think that's enough. It's like that high for the top. So you might be able to see. And now we crawl underneath without spilling our forehead. And for the most part, at first, your finger tighten. Never want to get your uh, filter too tight. I don't know if you can see that. Lay that there. You'll see it. I'm going to get the wrench to finish up. Uh. Okay, here's one right here. I don't know how much it would help me. Because we do have the oil filter on there good and tight, but just to get it on the finishing tight. I don't think this is going to work. No, it's not. Oh, well, it's definitely tight. It's definitely on there. Okay. Now comes the easiest part. 
<coughs> pouring down the oil. I like the way the Subaru is because it's very part. You don't have to go far to get the oil in there. There's a funnel. Honey is supposed to look like, or I mean, oil is supposed to look like honey, nice and clean and bright and and kind of thin, not dark and black. Just like in that micro commercial, the works wall. Trying to get this done quickly for uh, the memory card fills up. Okay, that was three, and I have already put three, so I just only put about half of this one in. Don't want to overfill. Okay, that's about half. Check the dipstick. Looks like it's at the quarter mark so far. One side, the other side says full. Dipsticks always like bother me. They always, it's like a, one side is the right side, and the, the other side is the wrong side. Gotta check multiple times. Should be almost full. So that was the way it's being full, but I did put it in there pretty quickly, so it's probably still settling. Okay, um, and there is the end result. Look at that oil. See all the lumps and glumps? Oomba, gloomba, do what I do. What do you get if you do not change your oil? You will live inside my skin like a chumbo. What do do? -do, -do. Alright, so I gave it a couple minutes. Let's go back out there and see where the dipstick sits. Hmm, it's on the low end. Guess we add more. One. I already put three. Thumbs up.
Okay, now there's only 300 milliliters or 9 ounces left. Okay, now it looks to be full. I don't think I had to put the whole thing of the last quart in. Yep, it's full. Now this goes back on. I like how it's designed. It may be plastic, but you have good grip to it. And you see that? Oh, yeah. Now I'll keep this in a safe place in case it burns some oil. And now we just turn it on really quick and shut off. So next step. Where do you go?